need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. After creating a public folder, you are the folder's owner. It is up to you to decide which users on your network can access the folder and also what types of activities they can perform if they have access to the folder. If you are the folder's owner or have been given the owner permission by the folder's owner, you can set the folder's permissions by right-clicking on the public folder for which you would like to set the permissions and then choosing the Properties command from the pop-up menu that appears. That will launch the Properties dialog box where you will be able to set the permissions for the selected public folder. If you see a tab that says Summary, that means that you do not have the required permission level to modify the permissions for that folder. If you believe that you should have that permission level, contact your network administrator or the folder's owner to change your permission level. If you can set permissions, then you should see a tab that says Permissions when you open the Properties dialog box. Click that tab to view the permissions that have been set for the folder. There are three permissions created by default. The Folder Owner's Permission, the Default Permission, and the Anonymous Permission. The default permission is the permission level granted to all of the other users on the network who do not have explicitly defined permissions for the selected folder. You can modify the permission level of the default identity to change the permission level of all of the users who access the public folder. Simply click the default identity from the list at the top of the permissions tab and look to see what permissions have been set for that role in the permission section located below it. You can then use the permission level drop down menu to change the role of the default permission. That will modify the associated abilities listed beneath the permission level drop down box depending on the permission level that you select from the list. Depending on the type of material you will be placing into the folder, you may want to completely restrict access to the default permission and then specify permissions for each individual user on the network to whom you wish to grant folder access. If the material needs to be accessed by everyone, you could also change the default permission so that at least everyone can see the material in the folder if not edit it. Then you can add users to whom you want to grant editing and deleting permissions in that folder. You can add individuals or groups to the permission list of the folder as long as they are on your network. That way you can modify the permission levels of the individual users and user groups in your network. This allows you to have more control over who has access to your public folder and what activities they can perform in the folder. You can also delete user permissions that are no longer applicable. For example, if a user were to leave the office, you should delete any access to the public folders that they had. If you are interested in setting strict security over the contents of the folder, consider adding and setting individual permissions for only the users that you want to have access to the public folder, and then setting the default user permission to none. To add a user or user group on the Permissions tab, click the Add button below the list of user permissions for that folder. That will launch the Add Users dialog box. This is similar to the Select Names dialog box that is used to address email. You simply select the user or users that you want to add from the dialog box that is used to address email. Then click the Add button to move the users into the text box at the bottom. When you've finished adding the users for which you want to set individual folder permissions, click OK to add them to the permissions list. Then to specify each user's permission settings, select their names within the permissions list, and then select a role from the permission level drop down below the list. You can set the permission level of any selected user or user group which you have granted folder access to 
by selecting one of these permission levels from the permission level drop-down in the permissions tab of the properties dialog box for the public folder that you have selected. Simply click the user or user group name from the name list at the top of the permissions tab and then select the permission level from the permissions section beneath that. The owner permission level grants to the user the ability to create, read, change, or delete any items in the folder. They can create subfolders and can grant and modify all permissions for the folder. The publishing editor permission level allows the user to create, read, change, and delete all items. They can also create subfolders. The editor permission level allows the user to create, read, change, and delete all items. The publishing author permission level grants to the user the ability to create and read items and create subfolders. They can also change and delete items that they have created. The author permission level grants to the user the ability to create and read items. They can also change and delete items that they have created. The non-editing author permission level grants to the user the ability to create and read items. The reviewer permission level grants to the user the ability to read items only. The contributor permission level grants to the user the ability to create items only. The contents of the folder will not appear, meaning they have no read access. The none permission level gives the user no permissions within the folder. You can also create your own custom permissions by simply selecting individualized permission levels and choosing your settings within the read, write, delete items, and other sections. This allows you to create a custom permission level by manually applying the desired individual permission level settings that you prefer. Now once you have the permission levels for the folder set as desired, just click the OK button at the bottom of the folder properties dialog box to set the permissions for the folder into effect. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.